Welcome to Step Up Your STR. Maybe you have the basics in place for your business, but you know it needs to be better. That's where we come in. Here, you'll get practical ideas to take your vacation rental business from ordinary to outstanding. I'm Kara Shimizu, your host. Together, we'll go through this journey and step up your STR. Hi, vacation rental owners and managers. Welcome to the podcast today. I'm Kara Shimizu. So last week, we talked briefly about how color is an important part of the decorating process. In fact, it's number one in what I call the trinity. <laughs> I promise I mean no blasphemy by that, just that I've identified the three major players that make the biggest difference in how eye-catching a property is online and how clickable and bookable it is. Remember how important it is to have a property be eye-catching because eye-catching leads to clicks, which lead to bookings, which lead to revenue. So that is one of the main goals with decorating. And there are some specific specialized things that have to happen in order for it to be eye-catching. All right. So we all know that there's, at least at the time of this recording, there's a huge glut of so many vacation rentals, not enough bookings, not enough money coming in. But decorating, I think, is largely an untapped resource for vacation rental owners and managers to be making more revenue. I mean, it's huge. Uh, in my, I think in one of my very first episodes, I mentioned the numbers behind it. I do have some hard numbers. I can share those briefly. Let's see. So beyondpricing.com, I think it might be beyondpricing.io, they did an internal analysis and found that when vacation rental owners invest in their decorating, they charge on average 20% more per night after that versus before. With my own clients, they charge a whopping 84% to 153% more after using my services versus before. So decorating really is an integral part of how much revenue you can make. How good or how bad your decorating is directly correlates with how much or how little revenue you bring in. Okay, so last week I went over color. That is number one in that trio, that trinity. Today I'm going to go over number two. So I'm going to try to share my screen here. All right, here we go. So this little slideshow is a is from a talk that I gave. And I just kind of did go over the why. Why does decorating matter? Several reasons. One of them being it is the first interaction that you have with potential guests. It's the first line of contact. Remember also that bad decorating costs as much as good decorating, if not more. If people don't know what to shop for and where to get it, they're probably overpaying. Another reason for that is that sometimes designers can give you, can share a discount with you that they get because of their profession. Here we are, strategy number two. One was color, two is white walls. Okay, why white? Because it looks clean. It gives a clean, beautiful, fresh backdrop. It shows up wonderfully in photos. Clean is what guests want first and foremost. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> clean is what guests want first and foremost. And white walls is such an easy way to give that impression. Okay, so if you are watching this, this is a room with brown walls. It's a beautiful room. It has a four poster bed, a gorgeous fireplace, really nice decor pieces, but the walls are brown. All right, now here is that room. Imagine that same room, but with white walls. And it's it's lovely. Things, you can actually see the things better. The brown isn't muddying the whole place up. Be careful with white though. I need to give a caveat. Be careful with white because there are lots of different undertones of white, different shades. There's pink, there's yellow, orange, blue, 
green, violet. So a really good rule of thumb is to paint a really big swatch on each wall of a room. I'm talking like three feet by three feet or even bigger. So get one of those little sample paint pots at Home Depot or wherever you're going to buy your paint and put it on the walls. Watch that color throughout the day because as light comes in the window, that color is going to change depending on what time of day it is. And you want to make sure that you like it. Okay, now this is for those of you watching on the YouTube video or you know a video version of this. I'm going to show you some examples of this in action. So light, white, pale walls with color. Here you can see the main colors are red, orange, that kind of a intense olive green. There's some blue, which is awesome. Next is this kitchen with an eat-in dining area. Again, white walls. And if you see, there is not much happening with this room, but the color is bold. They chose to put that um, intense orange below the island and also in that fixture on the ceiling. And then on the table, just a few things from the Dollar Tree, <laughs> from the dollar store. And it's a wonderful space that it does stand out online. Okay, this is a wonderful room. Again, white walls. You have that red in the blanket at the end of the bed, some yellow in that decorative pillow, green with the plant, and that's all you need. Okay, here's another example of a white room with color, this time a living room. You see green, the beautiful royal blue, yellow in the painting. And this is wonderful. If you have an interesting sofa, <laughs> this new picture here is of a fuchsia sofa. And it's so fun and vibrant. It really stands out. I think that if you have an interesting sofa and don't know what to do with it, the design, it could set your design direction for your entire property. This one might be one of my very favorites. It's a bedroom. It has a white background with orange trim on the bedding, a navy blue lamp, some fuchsia thrown in there with the flowers and the blanket. So that is an excellent example as well. All right, I'm going to sh stop sharing, try to stop sharing here. Okay, so I hope that that is informative and helpful. Be very careful what white paint you choose, which white color you choose, because whites definitely are not all created equal. <laughs> Go ahead and try it on each wall of the room you're thinking to paint and do big swatches. And that will help you a lot to know if that is a good direction to go for that paint color. All right, and I hope you all have a good week. I will talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you for joining in on Step Up Your STR. Please take just 30 seconds to like, review, and subscribe. It's a simple thing that fuels our mission to empower more STR owners and managers for higher success. I look forward to talking again next time.